quick story to uh, illustrate how sometimes mistakes can happen in a build like this. Um, my diamond racing wheels, the steel ones, uh, they had the correct offset for the car. It seemed to be a good offset. But uh, with the Avon tires have a very square edge on them. And people told me, or you know, the internet said, that the Hoosier tires are a little wider and they have a rounded edge on them. And I, the tires are very close to the fender. So I thought I'll be smart and I'll get one inch less uh, back spacing, front and rear. And I have really long studs in the car. I have three inch studs in the car. So I can just put spacers on and I can space it back up to where it was, no problem. I have lots of room to work with because, uh, you know, three inch studs. Um, what I didn't account for, I didn't even think about it, is the aluminum wheels are have a much thicker center section. The steel wheels are very flat. You know, it's the, the, the cross section of the center is very narrow, but the aluminum wheels is actually quite thick, even though they are a lot lighter. Um, so what happened was, I put the wheels on the car, and I put spacers in there. I put as many spacers as possible before I ran into trouble with not having enough stud to hold the nut on, right? So like, I want to be safe, obviously. So I, I uh, can only put so many spacers on. And it left the tire just a hair too close, and the wheel just a hair too close to bits and pieces. So um, you can see uh, the tire, see this, <laughs> this ring around here? That was caused by, now it's not leaking, it doesn't, it's not that deep, but it was caused by the, uh, this uh, nut for the panhard bar. And I think the wheel actually just barely came in contact with that down there too. So I need to get more uh, backspacing, or less, I guess less backspacing on here. So uh, what I did was I had this idea. So I was looking at my wheels and uh, I was looking at my wheels and I noticed, you know, you got the outer, the, the center section is bolted on the outside of the, uh, it looks like three layers of the rims, the inner and the outer, and then there's a ring. So I had the idea, if I took this center section and bolted it on the back side, it would give me an extra half inch of uh, clearance uh, to my bits and pieces in there. So just to make sure, I called Kaiser Wheels and I said, can I move these to the back side? And they said, absolutely. So that's what I'm going to do. So, uh, yeah, fairly simple process. Drain the air out of the tire, take all the nuts and bolts off, flip it around the backside, and retorque all the nuts and bolts, and it's good to go. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so I unbolted the center section. This is it. And, uh, yeah, look at the thickness of that, you know, that middle there. And that's why it takes up all, all my, even though I have three inch long studs, it still uh, takes up a lot of that. Anyways, uh, so now it was on the other side. Now I will bolt it onto this side, just like that. Yep, bolt it all up, torque it down, reinflate the tire, done deal. Ta-da, it's done. It is bolted on the other side. It's got the clearance that I need down there. You can make that out. One inch wider track width front and back, which is fine with me. I seem to have clearance with the fenders. Everything seems to be, it's tight. It's definitely tight, but uh, I think it'll work. Yep, I think that's gonna, yep, I think that's gonna work. So, all right, on to the next project with the car.